Our breaking coverage continues tonight on the Jasper County wildfire. Firefighters have made progress, but they have a long way to go to get the Shearwood Creek fire under control. The good news here tonight, firefighters have managed to save many homes from the flames. Good evening, Southeast Texas. I'm Jordan Williams. Thanks for sticking with 12 News. Normally this time of year, we're preparing for hurricanes and threats of flooding, but this year it's an extreme drought and a growing wildfire threat. Here are the three big headlines as we come on the air tracking this historic fire that's now burned 3,000 acres. Uh, we understand it is now 50% contained. The fire started along County Road 32 near the Angelina County line early Thursday afternoon. And now Jasper County Judge Mark Allen has issued a disaster declaration. 12 News has extensive coverage tonight as firefighters from around the region, even around the country, come here to fight these flames. First, though, to 12 News reporter Gloria Walker, who is live in Jasper County. And Gloria, I understand you toured some of the devastation. That's right, Jordan. I'm on the side of County Road 37, where last night we saw videos of flames almost overtaking the home behind me. And today I took a tour, like you said, with officials to see the path of destruction. We checked just minutes ago and 3,000 acres burned and only at 50% has been contained. The Shear Creek flames left lots of damage, burning down all the pine trees in its path, barely sparing any homes or structures. Today, state and county officials walk the path of destruction to get a clearer picture of the importance of getting these wildfires under control. James Gunter, the chief with Beach Groves Fire, was on the front lines fighting the fires. It's good to be able to relate when you're when you're sitting a great distance away and you're being told that there is a dire situation it's sometimes hard to relate to that uh, seeing it with your own eyes now uh, you know the the state officials can say I've been to East Texas I know what a bad fire looks like and coming up tonight at six speaker of the house Dade feel in shows us what sort resources were there to kind of help overtake this fire live in Jasper Glory Walker 12 news. Thank you, Gloria. And tonight we're seeing the flames from the firefighters perspective. This amazing video, the wall of flames closing in on homes like this one in the Pineland area last night. Some have been lost, but as Gloria was showing you, others miraculously saved the Beach Grove Fire Chief James Gunter describing more of the damage he has seen. A handful of structures destroyed in the fire, uh, but a whole lot more saved than what were destroyed. Still trying to get a, an idea on the, the structures that were destroyed. I think most of them were weekend homes or perhaps hunting camps. And tonight we still do not have a firm number on the number of any of the houses uh, damaged from the fire. We do want to talk more tonight about the impact on families. As many as three to 400 people have been evacuated. Jasper County Judge Mark Allen again signing that disaster declaration. He says he knows people are anxious to return, but he says this is not the time. Not yet. Authorities are asking everyone to stay away from the fire zone until the all clear is given. I would just tell them to be safe and be patient. That's the thing. Don't try to go in until we clear it because as I mentioned, there's still fire everywhere up and down those roads. Um, can't get in there and get trapped. Judge Allen also says he is working with several nonprofits to develop a long term plan for people who have lost their homes. All right, Chief Meteorologist Patrick Vaughn is with us tonight. Patrick's got his sky cam up there in Jasper. I know you've been scanning the air. Looks like a lot of smoke still. Yeah, a real smoky scene up there. Uh, this view courtesy of, uh, let's see, Pervalis up in uh, Jasper. And you can see the smoke has lofted into uh, the city of Jasper. And some good news, though, we're watching showers and storms sliding uh, towards the southwest. This view courtesy of the Roofing 911 Skycam Network. Tomorrow, another red flag warning day means critical wildfire danger conditions are going to materialize as we continue with this exceptional drought. Just since June 1st here in Beaumont, we've only picked up 5.25 inches of rainfall. That means we're down some 13.27 uh, as far as the deficit since June 1st. Right now, we are watching showers and storms up towards the north. We've cooled into the upper 90s here in the Triangle to around 100 in the Lakes area. And again, we don't want lightning out of these, but we do want the rain. They are moving towards the uh, fire uh, at this present time right along the state, or I should say the county lines of Jasper 
and uh, Newton County. So our forecast after we take a look at those heat indices, which are in the danger zone here in the triangle, calls for about a 10% coverage in the triangle, 30% coverage in the lakes area as we fall into the mid 80s. More on your storm tracker forecast coming up on 12 News.